Till now, we have been discussing about ordinal utility functions in which the magnitude of the utility does not mean much. So, a utility of 5, utility of 10, I mean, when you see these things in isolation, they do not have any significance to us. Let's say I give you that utility is 5. If I have to compare with utility value of 10, I can safely say that the underlying preference will make us prefer this one because u2 is greater than u1. So, as long as the utility value is greater, it does not matter what is the number inside the utility. Now, yes, there are certain theories which require cardinal utility function. Cardinal utility functions are designed in such a way that the difference is also meaningful, which means that a 5 unit of difference between utility has some kind of meaning. But in ordinal utility function, this difference does not have a lot of meaning. Thankfully, we will not be required to read about cardinal utility functions in our discussion of the variant chapter. Henceforth, utility means ordinal utility always. Now, the next question will be, let's say I want to give my preference structure a utility function. If the preferences are reasonable, then you will have always a utility function which could be associated with that underlying preferences. Now, you may ask, what do I mean by reasonable preferences? When we say reasonable preferences, we want to rule out all kinds of perverse preferences. Now, what could be an example of such? Let's say I give you a condition where A is preferred. This is not greater than simple, this is preferred. Pardon my writing. A is preferred to B, B is preferred to C, and C is preferred to D. You can also say strongly preferred because this is the preference symbol for strong preference or strict preference. Combine this, you can have A is preferred to B, B is preferred to C, C is preferred to D. What about I change this D to something else? Let's say in place of D, I put A here. C is preferred to A, which means this guy over here is not D now, this is A. What does this mean? This means that utility of A is greater than utility of B is greater than utility of C is again greater than utility of A. How is this possible? This is called intransitivity. So this kind of a situation cannot happen for a utility function or rather for any function. Hence, we cannot do this. So, when this is the underlying preference structure, we cannot have a utility function associated with it. But mostly, we will not be dealing with these kinds of situations in our analysis or study unless specifically mentioned. But if there is no mention of such an abstract kind of a situation, we can always construct a utility function from a preference structure.